Hi everyone, welcome to Must Read Monday. My name is Dabney. I'm the young adult librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they them pronouns. For today's episode, we are going to be looking at some new nonfiction books that we just got in. Um, and I'll just tell you real quick, we're going to take a break from doing these videos in August, so it'll give me a little bit more time to have a break as I jump into a new school year of after school programming here at the Hancock branch, so you can definitely um, come to that. You can always come and talk to me about books and get some book recommendations. So here we go. Uh, this is like a whole mix of books and we're not going to get into them because there's a lot. Uh, we got a couple anime art books. So this one is like the Art of Demon Slayer. Um, it's huge. I love it. Um, we got one for Haikyuu, everyone's favorite volleyball anime. Also, really big and really cool spreads in here. We got um, some different history books. We have American Redux, uh, visual stories from our dynamic history. So this is going to be kind of, um, I haven't read this yet, but just from flipping through, it's kind of interesting. It looks kind of like a collage type feel um, and just looking at this now I'm like yeah I, I need to check this out to see what it's all about um, we have the World War II book um, this series the uh, DK big ideas series we have like pretty much all of them here so it's just all different topics and um, this is one of the newer ones. So this is just about World War II. And I really like how these books are laid out and all the pictures and stuff. Um, speaking of, we have another one in that uh, Big Ideas series, another history book, um, the LGBTQ plus history book. And same thing, it's also got, you know, timelines and pictures and graphics and it's really great um, and not all of the books in this series are about history like I said it's all different topics philosophy science literature art it just we have a lot um okay so a couple of other ones since we talked about that book um, the DC book of pride so this is a celebration of DC's LGBTQIA plus characters so I will probably be looking at this. I'm not like hugely familiar with um, DC other than, you know, like kind of the characters most people know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. So I'm excited to, you know, find out about these different characters. We have um, Young Queer America. Real Stories and Faces of LGBTQ Plus Youth. Um, I actually did read an advanced reader's copy of this, so I really like it. Um, it has basically kind of like, not exactly interviews, but sort of like personal, like a little personal essay from different teens and other like younger kids around America, and as well as like a portrait of them just kind of talking about their experiences. Okay, shifting gears a little bit to some um, science. I got some really cool, well, science and math. I got some really cool books that I'm very excited to get into. The Math Maker Lab. So there's going to be cool, like, arts and crafts projects um, that also teach you about math. Um, making a picture ball. I can't wait to use this in my after school programs here. This one I think is so pretty. The Science Spellbook, Magical Experiments for Kids and Teens and Adults. Um, what is this? Fluorescent Feast, so um, a spellbound circuit. Oh gosh, we've actually made paper circuits here before. Um, that was really fun. So, very cool. Then, 
we have great STEM projects. Um, this is also by the DK and tried and true experiences for all budding scientists. How to make erosion bottles. This looks really cool. Um, yes, another one I'm excited to get into. Also, I love these covers. They're very colorful and fun. Um, so we've got some mental health books. So heads up, um, changing minds on mental health. Not just about food, understanding eating disorders. Um, where to start a survival guide to anxiety, depression, and other mental health challenges from Mental Health America. More than stress, understanding anxiety disorders. And then um, beneath the surface, a teen's guide to reaching out when you or your friend is in crisis. I'm also excited to read this. Um, I definitely could have used something like this when I was a teen. Um, Cause being being a teen is hard. Being an adult is hard. Being human is hard, <laughs> and um, it's always important to you know reach out, ask for help when you're having a hard time. Um, and then resources like these that I just highlighted. Um, can also kind of like empower you and give you some tools um, you need. Uh, this one is a fun title, Rethink the Internet, How to Make the Digital World a Lot Less Sucky. So it says, stop the hate, promote kindness, be an up, upstander. Rethink the Internet. Um, so it starts, there's some questions at the front. It's like, do you have, do you have to ask someone's permission before posting their photo? How can you tell if something on the internet is true? What should you do if you see someone bullying a friend online or hashtag IRL? So I think these are all important to get into. Um, I did not grow up online. Uh, the internet was still we had it when I was in high school and maybe middle school. We had like dial up internet. It was fun. It was really fun. Y'all can't even imagine trying to read fan fiction on dial up internet, looking at clothes on dial up internet. You're waiting like five minutes for a picture to, to finally load. Y'all, y'all cannot imagine. It was, it was a lie. But now, I don't know, I think about everybody growing up with internet and a lot of like the, the negative sides to that too, like that book addresses. Um, Being You, the body image book for boys. So this looks like very helpful. Um, mindfulness and meditation. Handling life with a calm and focused mind. I definitely should be doing <laughs> some meditation. I'm like, I am talking about these books and I'm like, actually, I, I just need to check them all out and read them is what it is. And then finally, Disability Visibility 17. First person stories for today adapted for young adults. Um, and July is Disability Awareness Month. So it's a perfect time to read this book. But there's never a wrong time to read this book. And it's always good to learn and to be aware. I've definitely um, been learning more about disability and you know what it is and what it's like for people who are living with all different kinds of disabilities. So check that out. So those are our new nonfiction books, and I probably missed some because we have a lot of nonfiction, and please come to the Hancock branch and check them all out. I will see you in a month, unless you watch our Wednesday program. All right, bye.